Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I get my wavy hair using this clipless curling iron set. It is by Cortex and it is a tourmaline ceramic iron. It comes with a glove and four interchangeable heads varying from half an inch to one and a half inch. To get this hairstyle, I just use your basic tools, which is a hairbrush, some butterfly clips, some heat protectant spray, and some kind of texture, pomade, or wax. So my hair always holds better when I have a little bit of my natural oil in it. So I always wash my hair the night before, let it air dry, and this is my hair the next morning. So I just like to brush out any knots and tangles because I always have a lot. And I just like to section off the very top third of my hair and hold it in place with a butterfly clip. going to spray some heat protectant all over my hair and just split my hair into two equal parts. I know many people don't like to use the heat protectant glove but I'm not a fan of getting burned so I always use it. So I just start with a one inch section from the back and for the back, it really doesn't matter what direction you curl your hair, um, but just make sure you vary it. You don't want to curl them all outward or all inward because you don't want them to clump up together in one wave. So for this particular piece, I am curling it outward. So just in case any of you don't really know how to achieve inward or outward curls, I wanted to show you from this angle. Um, for this piece, I am doing an inward curl and that means that the curl is coming towards the center of my face. So this one is kind of a bad camera shot, but this is how I get outward curls for the right side of my head, um, which means that the curl is facing away from your face. So like I said before, only the front pieces really matter. So I am curling this one towards my face because it's the under layer and I want the very top front layer to be away from my face. So like I said before, um, you just want to make sure you vary the direction just to make sure that it doesn't clump together. So for the left side of my head, to get an outward curl, I am just going to take my chunk of hair and wrap it up and over around the barrel and this will create the outward curl which means that the curl will be facing away from my face. Now to get the inward curl on the left side of my head, I am just going to be placing the barrel underneath my chunk of hair and continuing it, wrapping it down until you get to the end and this will make sure that the curl is coming towards my face. be sure I don't mix up any of my curled and uncurled pieces. I just like to take a butterfly clip and clip those out of the way. Now for the top layer, I'm just going to section off how you want your hair to fall and I'm going to speed through this process because it's pretty repetitive and I will come back when I get to the front pieces of my hair.
like I said before, I like it when the very front pieces of my hair uh, face outward. Um, I don't know why, I just like it like that. So for my bangs, I don't like when it's super curly or wavy, so I just like to just lightly run the ends of my hair on the curling iron just so it has a little bit of wave outwards. So this stuff right here is like an essential for me every time I style my hair. It's just a texture, pomade or wax and I just like to take a little bit onto my fingertips and just gently kind of tousle my hair with this product and I don't like to kind of finger comb my hair because I don't like I don't know it just makes it really frizzy so I just like to lightly run my fingers on the ends of the hair and this just kind of just texturizes it uh, separates it and just make it really shiny and just smelling good and I don't know I just love this stuff so that's pretty much how I get my loose wavy hair and I don't know, just have fun with it, play around with your hair and remember no hairstyles very fun when you're constantly worried about it getting messed up. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!